This is Brett Waltemath of Starwatch Media covering the Justice Ball at Boulevard 3 in Los Angeles, California, supporting the anti-human trafficking organization, Unlikely Heroes. Pleasure to speak with you. We're here supporting Unlikely Heroes organization in the fight against human trafficking this evening. How does it feel to be here and be supporting? It's really cool. You know, actually, Erica Grieve, who's the CEO, has been a friend of mine since this was really just an idea in her mind that she wanted to do in the future. And so coming here and seeing how amazing it all has come together and the red carpet and people getting involved and taking action and taking ownership over the cause is really inspiring. And I'm so proud of her and honored to be here. When Erica first approached you about the organization, what was your first reaction to hearing her goals for the organization and just her idea for what she wanted to achieve? Yeah, I mean, I didn't think it really took me by surprise because she's always been such a go-getter and always had a heart for people. She loves people well and um, she did social work before that. And so I feel like the combination of the other things that she had been doing in social work um, and then her passion for social justice issues, the combination of the two seemed so right and I really believed in her and I think she's a leader and I was behind her from the very start. Current projects for you that we can see you in. Upcoming projects. So um, in February I have a film coming out. It's called What About Love? And I play Andy Garcia and Sharon Stone's daughter. And it's a really awesome, beautiful movie about a girl who um, chooses love and um, goes away to Europe to pursue her passions with music and falls in love with a boy despite what her parents, I think, had hoped for her. Um, kind of a classic story but really interwoven in an interesting way and I got to do some music with it as well. So um, yeah, it was a really fun experience. Traveled through Europe for three months. Not, not bad. Not, not bad. bad, you know? Yeah. Where was your favorite place in Europe that you visited during filming? I think Tosa del Mar, it's a place in Spain. We visited various areas of Spain, but um, Tosa del Mar, it's like, there were like 14th century castles there and just all kinds of neat things right along the water and it was straight out of a movie, literally. <laughs> so, um, yeah, it was beautiful. Was your character a lot of fun to play? Really easy for you to get into the character? She was a lot of fun. She was very complex. I feel like she had a lot of me in her and um, through various stages of my life with um, falling in love or adventure, exploring. My pa I do have a passion for music as well and so um, I feel like I took a lot of myself and put it into the role but then also um, took some bits and pieces of other actresses that I really like and roles that they've done and um, but it was it was a blast. As an actress, can that be very trying emotionally when you're portraying a character that you can identify with more on a personal level? Can that be make it more difficult in a sense? That's a great question, absolutely. Yeah, um, I did a lot of self-discovery on that trip because I would often play the role and then I'd go back to my hotel room and I'm traveling through Europe by myself and I would have a lot of time to think through um, what just happened and process through what my natural reaction would be to the next thing and of course pulls up things from your own, your own past and um, things that you've been through and and you need those things to actually help guide the character and make it realistic. So, But I feel like um, acting for me is almost therapeutic because it reveals these different things. And I'm like, that's why I made that choice or that, you know? And so, um, yeah, I think... It almost peels back the layers. It does. It does. So I think there's many different reasons why I'm in the industry that I am, I guess, ultimately, I figure out. But I love what I do. You mentioned music is also a major passion of yours. Can you see... Uh, not necessarily moving to a career in music, but do you see music possibly being a part of your career at some time? I do. Um, music was actually the thing that I got into the industry for initially. It was my passion that drove me into trying to model, which then opened up to acting. And so I love acting and I'm so passionate about it now, but it's interesting that this film has now brought me back to the original reason why I began. And um, so I'm actually writing and recording the soundtrack to the film and I'm really excited about that and then I'm hoping that yeah something more will come out of it and I'll be able to explore that that like I had wanted two years ago so do you find one to be more difficult than the other acting or musical recording it's funny because actually singing for me as much as it's my passion I think it's the thing that I'm more naturally gifted with um, it's much scarier I think because the thought of maybe failing at your passion is a scary thing to, to chew, you know, but acting, it's something that I'm passionate about, but I didn't technically get in the industry for it, so if it doesn't go well, I think psychologically I'm like, I'm okay with it, you know, so I'm like really diving into the way I feel about both of them. I think acting, now I've done it so much more um, in front of an audience that it's become easier, but um, I think they both have their their great things and, and then they're difficult things to push through, but I'm all about facing challenges and fears and... Um, becoming the best version of myself. And you have the lovely opportunity to do both right now. 
<laughs> Best of both worlds. I'll ask you one last question. You look lovely this evening. What are you wearing? Yeah. I'm wearing BB and I'm wearing Aldo for my shoes. And I just love um, BB's classy, womanly, sexy approach that they have with all their designs. So. Beautiful. Thank you so much for the time. Enjoy the rest of the event.